we're greasified, all right. <laughs> Usually if I shampoo in the morning, like literally by 8 p.m. that night, my hair is greasy. So dry shampoo has really changed my life because now I can actually go a day without washing my hair. And I actually go like five days without washing my hair. So I try to wash my hair only once or twice a week and that's really lessened the greasiness that happens to it. It's weird how that's kind of how that works. But I'll still take a shower, I'll just, you know, rinse my hair with water and I just don't use, it's a no poo, right? No poo movement was a thing like a couple years ago. And I really grabbed onto that because um, shampoo is actually really stripping of the natural oils and stuff of our hair. So as much as you can stretch in between shampoo, shampooing is really good actually. It's good for your hair and you'll find that your hair becomes um, healthier. So. I'm going to show you my routine. And I also have uh, three different dry shampoos because I am a dry shampoo um, connoisseur. I've pretty much used all of them, so I thought I would tell you what I have found to be the best. In addition to um, dry shampoo being good for like if you have a little bit of greasiness, that'll take that away, it also helps girls like me that normally have very flat, like boring, like this actually is probably a little more body than I usually have, it will help to give you body and texture. So if you have freshly shampooed your hair and you normally have very fine and flat hair, get it dry and then add a little dry shampoo to the roots and that's gonna give you a little bit of lift and a little bit of texture. I remember back when I was in high school um, and I went to get my hair done for the prom, my, I went for like my trial, it was like a wedding, you know? <laughs> Let me have my trial appointment. And the guy was like, make sure you don't wash your hair. And so I didn't wash my hair and I went in and he's starting to do my hair and I'm like, I can't do this. Like my hair is so greasy, it's disgusting. You cannot make my hair like this for prom. So I made him wash my hair and then if you're a hairdresser, you know doing an updo with freshly clean hair is basically impossible. So he washed my hair but then ended up going in with texturizing spray and dry shampoo. So long story short, dry shampoo is really good for fine hair to give you that extra oomph and texture. It's also good for greasy hair. Okay, blah, blah, blah. So when I am extra greasy, like this is pretty, pretty extra greasy. You can, you can see it's pretty bad. Then I reach for a sprinkle in kind. So there's either aerosol or there's sprinkle in. My favorite sprinkle in is caviar dry shampoo. This is kind of expensive, but it will last a good while. So this, you just separate your hair and you're going to sprinkle it in at the roots like this and I like this bottle because it's got a pointed little thing and so you're just sprinkling in Doo -doo -doo. and like I said this sprinkle in kind really super duper soaks up the grease and you want to be sure to not overuse it because then your hair can feel dry like almost like straw dry so yeah there's that <laughs> that's the application and then you flip your head upside down and shake it out. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. And you can see how the powder, it's literally just absorbing the grease because you don't have any of the white residue. So that's the sprinkle in kind. My other favorite kind is aerosol. This one's almost empty, so I brought in a second bottle, and I wanted to show you guys. Hello, I always buy things on sale. $3, TJ Maxx. You can find Batiste at Ulta, you can find it at Target. I recommend looking at your local TJ Maxx where they're probably gonna have it on sale. So even like the regular price of the can is $4.79 at TJ Maxx. At Ulta, I wanna say they're like eight or $9. This is a super affordable brand that I super do recommend. That's Batiste. If you buy any regular dry shampoo, like from the grocery store or something, they're not all created equal. So don't do that. Like if you get, I think like, I wanna say Pantene or Suave has one and it leaves like a wicked white cast, I'll show you. So when you spray this, you're gonna do it the same way I told you, separate and spray it at the roots. But you can see how it gets a little bit of whiteness that whiteness is gonna go away as I massage it in, but if you buy like a, a less than brand or just a, a not good dry shampoo, you're gonna have a hard time getting rid of that white cast and you know. 
Speaking of which, pro tip, make sure that you massage your dry shampoo in very super well. When I went on my, uh, was it my first, my second incentive trip with Posh, I went to St. Thomas and I was just getting into dry shampoo. So this was like three years ago. I was just learning about dry shampoo and I was dry shampooing the hell out of my hair because I was like, oh, it gives me so much body, blah, blah, blah. Hmm, well, fast forward to when Posh released their official pictures of the event and hello, white cast in all of the pictures. <laughs> I had to like Photoshop darken my hair before I shared any of the pictures because it looked like I had this like white crown on my freaking head. <laughs> but anyway, so be mindful and rub your dry shampoo in very well. All right, so these were always my um, two go-to sprinkle in and spray in brands, but I will tell you, I'm just going to introduce one more. And again, this is an expensive option. It's a Veda. If you um, have watched many of my videos talking about life before Posh, I was a super Aveda user. Aveda is very, um, very naturally based. It's really good products. I love the brand, but it's very expensive. So like this one bottle, I wanna say was like $32 or $28 or something. Ooh. But it is kind of cool. Oops. In that it's kind of like a sprinkle in and kind of like an aerosol. So you just twist the cap like this and then poof you just squeeze the bottle in it poofs little poofs of dry shampoo out let's see if I can get poof you see the poof you can squeeze it harder oh there woo, woo. or lighter but the scent of this is literally to die for. And I just like the application because I really feel like this is more like the powder, more like this one. But the application is kind of cool how it disperses it. So those are my three top dry shampoo brands. And I'm just gonna, you know, just put it in there so you can see that whiteness. And then hopefully when I come back for my official posh live, where I'm gonna talk official posh stuff, you won't see the whiteness, hopefully. But if you do, by all means, let me know. <laughs> Jordan, you've never used dry shampoo, it will change your life. Oh my goodness. All right, so in a recap, these are my three favorites. There are, why is that light so bright? There are some other options that I do um, endorse, like Chlorine is also a good one. Um, Amika has a good one. There are other ones besides these three, but these are my three favorites. You can see as I'm rubbing it in, the whiteness has gone away. And you can even see, like I was telling you guys, it gives your hair more body. Remember at the beginning of this, my hair was much flatter and now I have a lot more body. And like, obviously I'm doing this in you know, alive, so I don't even have a full mirror to work with here, but yeah, makes a big difference. So when you guys um, try your dry shampoo for the first time, you have to tag me in the comments or whatever when you post about it because I want to know what you think. I feel like it's like one of my personal missions in life to make sure every woman knows about dry shampoo because it is seriously amazing. I remember it like yesterday when dry shampoo was first a thing, like they talked about the no poo movement and there was dry shampoo being talked about like in commercials. I saw it on the shelves in magazines and I was like, dry shampoo, like what is that even? Because to me, you know, shampoo is what you do in the shower. So shower, dry, doesn't really make sense. So I looked more into it, I looked more into it. And then when I finally read somebody talking about how it, it um, helped you um, not shampoo on the second day, I was like, oh, well, I have to try that. Cause like I said, my hair gets greasy, like within hours, like it might even still be during the day and my hair was getting greasy. And I think in hindsight, that was because I was shampooing every day and shampooing every day is too tough on our scalps. But anyway, dry shampoo just sounded gross and it seemed weird. And the first one I tried was just like, you know, not the best or whatever. But as I tried and tried and tried them, they literally changed my life. So there's my little story. So Batiste, this is the cheapest. So if you're just going to try dry shampoo for the first time, I would try Batiste because you can get this guy for under $10. I get it for under $5 at TJ Maxx. If you are already a dry shampoo connoisseur and you want to try some new ones, these are my two expensive brands that I really like. That's Aveda Shampoo, Shampure, 
dry shampoo and caviar dry shampoo. Those are the two like sprinkle in varieties that I really like. Pro tip, put your dry shampoo in the night before and all your tossing and turning or whatever in bed is going to help really get those um, powders absorbed. That way in the morning, you really just kind of fluff and go. Whereas if you're spraying it in in the morning, you do have to really work sometimes to get all of the powder absorbed. But if you do it the night before, you can just really spray the hell out of your hair because I'll go to town, especially when I'm using my on clearance $3 bottles. I go to town and really put it to it. And then I wake up in the morning and it's already absorbed and I really just have to style and go. So those are my tips on dry shampoo. All right, thanks for joining me. It's so awkward waiting for people to join me. <laughs>